Hello students, this is Ashini from Chinta.com. At Chinta, we have many students who are not really interested in engineering. For example, joint entrances in India or other engineering entrances in other countries. They're essentially interested in mathematical sciences, the pure sciences, pure mathematics, pure physics, theoretical physics, maybe in experimental physics as well, computer science, and so on. Sometimes parents and students ask me that what are the career pathways for those type of students, especially in India, because joint entrance or IIT entrances play a big part in the high school and middle school level education in India. So, what if someone is not interested in those type of things? What kind of opportunities are there for this these students? And thanks to the advent of artificial intelligence, mathematical science is again at the forefront of industrial discourse. So in this video, I will quickly talk to you about the pathway that you might have, uh, might choose if you are not really interested in engineering, but you want to do beautiful mathematics, you want to do physics, you want to do computer science and so on and so forth. The first step is to build a strong problem solving ability. I will come to the career point of view a slightly later part in the video. But let's first talk about the foundations, how you can get started. Building a strong problem-solving skill is really a non-negotiable. If you like mathematical science, this is where you should start. An Olympiad program is pretty great. Chinta has very good Olympiad programs for physics, mathematics and computer science. You can check the link in the description for that. But you can also do this at home. You don't really have to go for Olympiads. You can choose great books which have great problems that make you think. That's the point. You want to access the beautiful neural pathways early into the career. That is maybe in class 5, class 4, class 6, 7, 8, whatever, early middle school days or even earlier than that. If you encounter problems that make you think and if you sit and you try the problems for hours, that means you have already trained your mind to think in that way. I will suggest a couple of books to get started with. Mathematical Circles by Foman is a great option. I talk about it all the time. Math Circles by the Bay by Roskovskaya. This is a great option for younger kids. Uh, Mathematical Circles from 3 to 7 by Zovonkin is also a great option for younger kids. If you are a little bit more seasoned problem solver, then you can try books like Challenges and Thrills of Pre-College Mathematics or The Art of Problem Solving um, and also Arthur Angel's books. Paul Zietz have a fantastic book called Art and, Art and Craft of Problem Solving and so on. So, Try to get access to great books very early on and do not study books which are authored by XYZ publish publication for XYZ competition. That's now how, how people should learn mathematics. That's the first step. The second step, and this is something that we suggest students around grade 7, grade 8, is that get exposed to unsolved problems. That is a little bit of research. How can you do that? One way to do is to read papers which is suitable at that particular level. This is also part of the foundational training, by the way. So one example where we can where one place where you can get this sort of papers is Mathematical Gazette by University of Cambridge. By the way, research papers are really great for university applications. So if you have a habit of enjoying research early on, then you can easily get into that track later. Chinta has fantastic research programs. You can check the link in the description for that. But even at your home, you can do this. Another great resource in this regard is IIT Gandhinagar's uh, Center for Creative Learning. There are a lot of great little hands-on experimentations which you can try. This is all free, by the way, the IIT Gandhinagar stuff. Okay, the third step, and this is extremely important, is... How can you interact with the real world to solve problems? This is where the leadership projects come into place. And you can also check the link in the description for fantastic leadership opportunities at Chinta, where students have worked with non-profits, for-profit organizations, and they have created wonderful projects that added value to their university application process. 
So these are the three foundational things that you need to do to build a career in mathematical science, which we think are important. Olympiad or non-routine problem solving, research-oriented thinking, and real-world problem solving. Once you do this, then you are in a position to apply to universities in India or outside India. Your profile is also very strong at that point, and then you can take the standardized tests like SAT or inside India, the ISI or CMI entrances, and then you will be in a position to take great university education. We have a list of 50 best colleges for university uh, for mathematical sciences in India. You can check the link in the description for that as well. It's a very good resource. You will get to understand what kind of research is happening in the colleges in India. Once you are done with your university education, the next step would be to get into the industry or academia. Those are the two areas where people go when they study mathematical sciences. Academia is pretty straightforward. You apply for professor positions or postdoc positions. Industry is very interesting as well. Pharmaceutical companies, banking, com bankers, risk analysts, data analysts, all of them are now taking in mathematicians, physicists, computer scientists for these sort of roles. The opportunities are only slated to increase. The United States Labor Department has made a prediction that within 2030, the requirement of mathematical scientists, data science analysts, analysts machine learning analysts will go up by 30%. So I think the opportunities are great. It's not that you have only one pathway toward beautiful education and career. It's not that you only have to do JE. If you like mathematical science, you can just do that. If you have any questions, check the link in the description or com make a comment and uh, we will be very happy to interact with you. Thank you for joining us today. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. Thank you.